Hello everyone, this is Morbid Gano here. Welcome to part 5 of the test ones of Jet Set Radio Future. In an episode, we did all the test ones in the bottom point of the Tokyo Underground Super City and in Kaga Street. And in this part, we shall be doing Kill Parker Hill and the Sky Super District and Fail Park. Uh -huh. Now, Kill Parker Hill's graffiti test one. There's so many four piece types of graffiti we need to get, so. There's not much to take care of this time. But how you get to them, that's. That's another. Question. So, I immediately go to here to the top area, grab some spare cans immediately. And yep, there's a graffiti right here. As a way of call, the graffiti done. And yeah, that's the only graffiti on the top area. If we go down to here, as I completely miss any whales and fall be into the poor water, which I go here to the middle level of this area. And there's an extra large graffiti here, but I don't have enough spray cans! I need more spray cans! There's some right down here. You're kidding me. Oh, there you go. And I escape gliding and slow as a snail, but I eventually pick up some speed. Though I need to go all the way to the right here in order to actually get back here to this area. It's a screw who had to sign Kill Bucket Hill, at least this is certain part of it. Get the help because the love shockers are weak as hell. It's up here, and yeah. Let's see where this world leads me to. Oh, it leads me to here. Yep, yeah, there's an extra large graffiti down there. I don't hate going. Yep, yeah, now I can take care of this graffiti. And I should have grabbed those blue spray cans, but. Depending on, like, nope! I'm, I'm fine over these 10 spray cans over there! But I think there's some boss break ends right here, so that's not a problem at all. I wish it just jumped away down here, but nope. I choose to glide all the way back down here. Basically searching for the other graffiti there. The last graffiti, that's not that graffiti, it's at the bottom area, so I just glide around for no reason. Let's just go down there already. Thank you. There we go, only one bulk of feet left, and it's at the bottom of this area. How do we get down there? Well, let's see. Can I jump down here? Nope, I can't. Uh, I don't want to be here. I want to be on the whales. Great. We, I don't, oh, we hate the lighting in this area. This place specifically, anyway. What if I can land on the whales one here? May with a boost dash? Nope! Can't, can't cut any corners here, I gotta take the long route. Screw this level. Screw this level. And screw you, I should have jump, made that jump, but no. Screw this level. I hate this level. Not as much as Sky Dice World Square, but I still hate this part level so much. Well, let's get the last graffiti. I wasted too much time here. Jump all the way down to the lowest rail here. So we get down to the bottom level of this tower area, whatever you call it. Why did I jump? <laughs> and there you go, the last graffiti is right here. Just as I expected. There you go, that was pretty damn easy. Once you know where all graffiti are, is of course, but I cannot talk. Easy jet ranking, the love shockers suck. 
Let's do jet tech. Earth. Kill Buck Hill. Seems ready to get over a million points. I can get much more than that. So let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's find our 500 point whale on Kill Buck Hill. And fast forward. So yeah, the five point where I do is, is this one. It's really long and it's very helpful. So yeah. So again, I like to talk more about Lost Shocker so a little bit. Because look at the health bar. It's pretty damn weak. I'm sorry, but the Lost Shockers are pop Possibly the weakest characters I've ever played this game so far. They're weak and pathetic. They're the most forgettable characters in the game, and now just absolutely worthless. Why would you want to play as the Love Shockers? I don't know. But hey, the option is there if you want it. And look at that, I already got over a million points. I think I got chip making already. One and a half million. Charles play. Now it's supposed to be around this point. Two million points. Let's just mess around. Uh. And there's that structure which I always mistaken as a rocket. A space rocket, I don't know. I would like to see these kids go into space, but I guess the closest we're ever going to get is the final boss of this game, but... <laughs> what am I saying? There you go. You got 3 million, but... Whatever, we got 3 million. No, four, we only got 4 million in Hickok Street anyway, so... Whatever. Let's do highway. Le no, let's, let's do Jet Dash again. The next Jet Dash after this will be Highway Three. Zero, so I look forward to that. So yeah, let's do a race in Kilpuck Hill. Our choice, since we never did a race in Kilpuck Hill but out in the entire game, but hey, you can basically go well, do a full loop in Kilpuck Hill, so why not? Again, grind every well possible and just boost dash whenever possible. Oh, I need to build boss too. So yeah, yeah, my speed running tactics, you know, just, uh, I don't know, I got nothing to say. Boom, all right off that, walk it, whatever. <laughs> this is why I like to call the sewer part of Kiyobaka Hill, because it's all green for some reason. So glad I managed to make that jump. <laughs> oh, me, it's passed. Seriously, what else can I say? I jumped on this brown whale. I jumped off that brown whale. I'm grinding on the, this telephone pole here. Everything has a brown tone to it. I jumped through these billboards. I land on this whale. I get stuck on, on a wall. <laughs> and there's a boost dash here. Now I grow a network of telephone poles. I'm the best commentator ever. Not really. Ugh. And now I'm harassing millions of people. I'm a good citizen. I am a, a proud love shocker. I shock everyone that's in love. I'm talking random crap out of my mouth. Whatever, we're done. Ugh. Easy jet ranking, sub 2, try to beat that. It's your only game, of course. And we're locked. Pots. What, did we just acquire a bunch of pots for a garage? No, pots is a counter. 
But we never heard of Pops. Who is this Pops we speak of? Yes, your scene is right. It's Yo-Yo's dog. That is pretty awesome. All of a sudden, he can... All of a sudden, he's now anthropomorphic. He has world skates as a pretty cool looking outfit. I love Pops. Pops is awesome. I love his that Where you choose Pops? He does foul disappear. Hi, Yo-Yo! I'm your pet dog, who can suddenly, suddenly can roller skate now. Oh my god! You're standing on your really and you go roller skate with us! <laughs> uh, whatever. I guess this is Jet's way of future. And I guess in the future, dogs learn, learn how to stand on two feet. I can roller skate now. Well, apparently I can't speak English. Whatever. Let's train the music so that the music doesn't get, does not get repetitive. What should we go for now? Birthday cake, box fresh, latch buff about, fly and the brother. Yeah, let's go for this. Why not? Let's see what this sounds like. I love it. But let's try something else. Let's go for Funky Dealer. I'm pretty sure her it's time. This song does at times when we start the LP. Oh yeah, let's go with this song. As we'll move on to the next bunch of test longs for this level. <sighs> the Sky Sacred District and Fail Park. Yep, we're back to my second least favorite, least favorite level in the entire game. But this time we got pots. And Pots will help us say so that yep, all the graffiti here is spread out. But like your Bucket Hill, there's not that much types of graffiti here. In fact, if I'm right, there's only like three type pieces of graffiti here in this whole entire place. Which honestly, I'm very thankful for. But I still have to make least of faiths over across the bonus pits that I hate so much. But it doesn't matter. We got Pops now, and Pops is pretty awesome. So let's just look at the map, make sure where they are. They're all around the range of this sort of area. So first of all, I got to go to the white right here to get our first coffee, which is right here somewhere. And I didn't jump for some reason. <sighs> Once again, this level just screw me over again. I hate this level so much. Well, let's try that again. What is wrong with me? Why am I not jumping? Why is it that we're streaming the A button? Okay, three times to jump. Three times to jump. All that just for this one piece of graffiti. Screw this level. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait. Fails to bounce pits two times. <coughs> Ugh. Well, thankfully, there's only three types of feet here. Let's do so. We haven't tried to do much here except for like, tons of jumps over these bonus pits. I hate them. <laughs> Here's an extra large graffiti right here. Let's take care of this. Only one more to go. Already. And is it down here? I think it is. Yep, the last one's down here. Not that very far away. I'm very thankful for it. Exactly two minutes. Easy jet ranking. And so glad I had to suffer through this level as much as I did in the main game. So let's move on to jet tech as per usual. Find an unusual fight to put well in this. Lace, I don't know. 
And see, it put us on the top of this tower. And there we, there's a reason for that. See those glowing blue whales? Those are fire point whales. And those are the ones we're going to abuse. So I'm glad that the game the battle plays, you know, lies much, very easy by already spawning us near the find the whales. Very thankful for that. But yeah, just do the same as per usual. <sighs> I don't have anything else to say, just... Let's just be doing the same thing over and over again, Jet Tech. Seriously, I really do think Jet Tech is the worst test one mode in the entire one mode. Whatever I'd call it, but... Yeah... This is, this is really... This is so boring. Jet Tech could really be more interesting, but no, it's just me doing this over and over again. And I finally reached 2 million, now I can just mess around. Blah blah blah. I should fall to my demise. Because that's why too, and then in the sound bits. You know. Easy jet ranking, whatever. Let's do one to last test one for the Sky Days just to fell bar, so I never had to come back to this level ever again. Mm. Jet flag yet again. Again, we've never done a, a flag bound sky to just rich. But thankfully, the flags don't go anywhere. We're away from the fail park. They stay in the fail park. They don't go to the sky to at all, which I'm very thankful for. I will ever stay in fail park where there's no ballers pits, while in sky to where there's a bunch of ballers pits. Oh uh. well, yeah, anyways, this jet flag war battle, what, jet flag fitty, it's not so bad. Just gotta go up here to get a flag. This piece of wet fabric. And now it's over. There for some reason, I don't know. Just gonna climb up. Here to the temple of graffiti and just grab this and now it's there for some reason. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do I even say it's on top of this pyramid now? I believe it's the last one actually. I think it's on top of it. It's right here. And yes, there was the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, E.T. Jet Ranking, and gee, I wonder who we got to unlock this time. Immortals, what a surprise. So yeah, next, in the next part we're going to play as Immortals. And, well, next time on, on, um, well, yeah, next time on the Test Wars of Jet Zero Future, we shall be doing... Uh, oh yeah, Highway Zero, and, uh, Sky Dinosaurian Square. So again, who? I'll see you next time. As soon as I change this music to Koto Stop, whatever this is, let's take a listen. It takes a while to switch to music for some reason. Eh. Let me do it. Good. Let's let's just do this one. This one's a clat. Clat. It's a good. It's a good song, basically. Yeah, we'll do it's just do this one. Spoken who? I'll see you next time. Later, people.